uh, like I said, we're just going to do a quick uh, look because we, we couldn't go over all these. You know, it take take uh, hours. But uh, anyway, starting off, one of my favorites is the big number two forty or number 42 Williams. And it's a big universal tool holder. It holds half inch blanks. Um, you know, drop forged in the USA. I'm sure this is, you know, much older than I am. But it's a big one. It's it's the biggest one I've ever seen. And uh, for a shaper, uh, this is a prized possession, uh, in my opinion. It allows you to cut from the side at an angle. You know, the it allows you to extend quite a bit. And usually they're they're fairly uh, fairly strong. But uh, really good cutter. I got this with the shaper. A really good holder. I got it with the shaper, and uh, I think everybody who has a shaper, you know, needs one. This is a big number 42, man. That's a six inch scale. So it's a big, big cutter or holder. And then we got the big Armstrong. It's a number T5S, and it's a big dude, too. Uh, this is a little big for my for my shaper. Uh, this holds five eighths blanks, um, you know, but extremely sturdy. I've got a couple of these. Then on the table, you know, we got just a variety of uh, different tool steels and different profiles, and we got barking dogs. We got everything. This is a big, you know, slot slotting tool. This is made by Workman Tool Company, you know. Three quarter inch wide cut, the shaper will push it, you know. Uh, if you need to make a big slot, you know, this, this is what you'd use. Another big piece that's pretty interesting, you know, and of course I didn't grind this. Uh, this was ground, you know, professionally. Uh, it's, an, it's a no name, but you know, monster. Um, one day I'll put it in the shaper and you know, push it through some steel. Then we've got just a multiple, uh, or, or, you know, you know, bent cutters, not bent. I mean, these were actually, you know, made this way, you know, really nice, different sizes. And I, you know, I may be wrong, you know, on some of these. So if I'm wrong, please explain. Some of these, I don't know what they're for, but, uh, these are big T-slot cutters, you know, left and right. Really nice to have. Uh, these are a little large for, for you know, your average table for your, or for your average T-slot, but they're, uh, you know, nice to have nonetheless. And we've got a whole bunch here of 60 degree, you know, threading. I use these on the lathe. Uh, not all of them, of course, you know, but uh, you dull one, you grab a new one, you know, and you sharpen the old one in your spare time. You know, here's a side, like a side cutting tool in the shaper. You know, it'd be really nice. It's a Vasco Supreme, big three quarter inch. You know, most of the tools you use for a shaper like this are, are going to be big. You know, uh, it's a big shaper and it takes big tools. That small stuff don't even fit in the holder. You have to, uh, you know, put an adapter in there just to hold, you know, half inch, half inch cutters are small you know, to, to that shaper. You know, another big, uh, big slaughter, you know, with a, you know, cupped in so you get a radius on the bottom. Multiple, uh, you know, these are workmen also, made by workmen. Uh, you know, they cut a radius. I think it's about a quarter inch. Got several of those. Those are, of course, pre ground. I didn't do this. You know, these were all bought in a big uh, lot. I got lots of the Vasco Supreme. Lots of Lathro Crusader XLs. You know, here's another here's a piece of 5 8 Vasco Supreme. This stuff's nice, but it's real, you know, from what I've, I've read and, you know, just trying to grind it, it's, it's extremely abrasion resistant. It'll hold an edge, but man, it's tough to grind. You know, you'll, you'll be at the grinder for... Especially on a big chunk, you may be at the grinder for, you know, an hour just trying to get, you know, the right profile. Chloe. Go 
going. There's a big, big part tool, you know, radius on the end, like if you wanted to make a, a small radius at the bottom of a pocket, you know. Uh, or you could use this in the lathe, you know, to make a large O-ring groove. You know, but that's a, you know, big piece, you know. I got lots of this with the Schaefer, and uh, lots of it I already had. Uh, you know, here's, this one, this is beat up, but it's still a good, good tool to have. And uh, it would hold like a profile cutter, you know, like this. You know, bolted in there. You know, if you wanted to, you know, make a profile. This is probably too big to use for, you know, in steel. The cutter may, or the shaper may push it, but I doubt it. Um, you wouldn't be taking big cuts. You'd probably get lots of chatter. But, uh, you know, like in plastic or something, it'd be great. You know, then behind me we've got most of the small stuff, which is you know your five eight or your you know uh, three eighths, half inch. You know I consider all that you know fairly small stuff for the shaper. You know some half inch Vasco. Uh, you know basically a half inch uh, radius tool. Some of these are sharp. Most of these are sharpened. Some of them aren't. If you want to you know run a corner off and get a radius on a corner, you know you'd use something like this. You know, pull your corners off. Then we got the one of the uh, big uh, Armstrong. This is a this is a number forty nine, and uh, you would use this to cut you know large internal keyways or uh, internal gears, you know, stuff like that. Um, with a shaper, you know, that's one of the big benefits to a shaper is that you can cut internal, you know. Uh, you don't have to get a brooch set. Basically, you can, uh, if you have the right holders, you can, you know, cut internal keyways and stuff like that. Here's a big, you know, Greenfield tap and die, I believe, piece of big cobalt high speed steel, just a parting tool. This is one I use actually quite often. You know, it's a nice, it's a good size. It's got a, you know, it's like a quarter inch. A little half inch. It's not little. Uh, you know, it's an Armstrong. Uh, it's a T T4S, I believe. Yeah, Armstrong. It says Armstrong Tungsten Carbide Patented Tool Holder. And it holds a half inch, uh, half inch blank. Big cutter, you know. Uh, this is a this is a good size for the shaper. You know, it's, it's smaller than the others, and just you know more realistic for most of the things that I I do. But it'll bring your cutter. You know, if you if you've got a part that's short on the table, you can extend uh, you know down. And these are fairly robust. You don't get a lot of chatter with them. They're they're you know they're they're quite quite stiff. You know, that's a that's another thing. You know, with these is they they bring you down on the table. Where you can, uh, you know, you don't have to crank the, crank it up so high. And I've got you know a multitude of different uh, width uh, party tools. You know, some of these I ground, some of them I didn't. You know, different uh, different thicknesses in your uh, you know slot. Uh, you name it. You know, I got it. Uh, Pretty much, some of it, you know, I've never used. Like I said, some of it I have. You know, another, you know, O-ring groove tool. Here's an offset. You know, I didn't grind this. But it was ground, pretty ground. Got a lot of Rex, uh, Armstrong, Basco, Southern, Northern. Lathrobe, XL. Lots of, lots of little, you know, odds and ends that I use in my, uh, some of these are larger pieces, but most of these are the small bits that I use in my uh, uh, boring bars and, and stuff. But that's a pretty good look at, uh, 
you know, most of the uh, cutters that I use. This is just what I pulled out of the cabinet. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And please like and subscribe for more groundbreaking information.